this was supposed to be easy. Just track her down again, bring her home. I had no idea how wrong I was, and how far I would really have to go. Search for the missing girl continues in the deep. Please, tell me that she's safe. Your hysterics aren't helping. Stop calling me. Hello everyone, this is Someday You'll Return. This game is about this guy trying to find his daughter Stella, hence the title Someday You'll Return, I, I guess. I don't know, like obviously she isn't returning, but whatever, I'm nitpicking. I just think the title is kind of weird. I was debating whether or not to do a video on this game because there's basically, there's basically no info on it besides like the general plot, but I said, fuck it, the game looks cool and I want to make a video about it, so I I'm going to do it. So yeah, I guess I'll get into what it says on the site. It's not the first time she ran away, but you're uneasy. This time feels so different. Long ago, you swore never to return here, and now she's dragged you back. Your search leads into a deep Moravian forest and reveals secrets that should have stayed buried. While your survival skills and quick wits might advance your search, malevolent forces rise up against you. There are nightmares that you can't fight and, and win. Some of them could be yours. So when they say you swore never to return here, I'm assuming he's referring to the ancient Moravian, I hope I'm saying that right, Moravian forest. I'm curious as to why he had been to the ancient forest beforehand. Like I can't really think of why he had been there already besides his daughter being there. <laughs> like, I guess that's just something you'll have to play the game to find out. I, I suppose it is possible that Stella just ran off there once before, but I kind of doubt that because that'd be pretty fucking stupid in my opinion. Only so much you can speculate off of one trailer and a handful of info though, I guess. And apparently, this game draws inspiration from Outlast 2, Resident Evil 7, which is one of my favorite horror games, The Vanishing of Ethan Carter, and Silent Hill, which I can tell just by looking at the trailer. Now, I've never played The Vanishing of Ethan Carter, but I've heard good things about it. I'm not entirely sure it was a horror game, either, but anyway, all those other games are like, fantastic. Great games. I can kind of see some Outlast inspiration from the trailer. Also, the scene with the building burning looks damn near identical to the scene in Outlast. Like, literally the only difference is the character has all their fingers in this game. Because if you played Outlast, you'll know that you lose two fingers. So, not saying they stole it or some shit, just making comparisons. I only saw it for a couple seconds, so it can honestly be completely different from the Outlast scene, for all I know. Okay, so Resident Evil 7... That I don't see so much, but maybe it's just one of those games you have to play to see that particular inspiration. I forgot to mention this game is by CBE Software. Um, they've made a bunch of like random, pretty random games, like point and click games and like shit like that. Uh, games that I don't recognize, I doubt you'd recognize them either, but... Uh, and this game comes out in 2019, so just forgot to say that. But yeah guys, that is about it for me. Uh, and this game. I have nothing more to say besides the fact that it looks really cool to me. Um, but yeah, hopefully you learned about this game, the fact that it existed, because I'm sure you, you didn't know that it existed. Or maybe you're here because you know it existed and you're just interested in it. I don't know. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.